Hi, so this final is going to be about this game that I've been uh, unsurprisingly binging during quarantine. And uh, I have a spreadsheet for um, this game, which was actually made by the community, and I modified it for my own purposes. And it affects what decisions I will make in the game based on how much of a certain item I have. So I have an inventory in this game, and it looks like this. And for the spreadsheet, every time I usually have to go through these items individually and type in what each item is and how many of them I have, which is a huge pain um, because there are a lot of items. And you can see on the right here, um, all the quantities, it's not fun. So I thought, why not automate this? There's a huge community for this game and uh, the Discord that for sailing that I got the spreadsheet off of has 10,000 plus people that are have the same problem. They have to type in their items manually and it's a huge struggle. So I thought, why not automate it? So I've created a Discord bot that will go ahead and take a screenshot from the game of somebody's inventory and turn it into a nice spreadsheet like this one to use. They can use these quantities in whatever other spreadsheet they want to, uh, to have. So um, here's how an end user would use this Discord bot. Um, you go to the Discord server where it's currently running and uh, one second, I need to actually get it running. Okay, now I have my image loaded here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I type exclamation mark inventory as the command paste the image in, and that's it. The, bro the bot will begin uh, on a different thread to start processing through the request. And when it is done, it will spit out a spreadsheet in uh, chat that will look a lot like this one that I just showed you earlier. Okay, let's quickly go over how this bot works. Um, it looks over this image, it identifies a key point. In this case, it looks at the checkbox. And I wanted this program to uh, work irrespective of people's game configurations. And so it also determines scaling and a ton of other stuff to individually segment these boxes. And I'm going to go ahead and put up an image a bit of the uh, steps it takes. But basically, it uh, individually segments the images. It'll grayscale them and then form a difference hash to basically uh, make an identifier of what an item is. Because there are a lot of items in this game, I didn't want to have to store every image on my process in on my computer and um, cross match them. That's a lot of processing power, and I, I'm planning on having this run on multiple clients. So um, that's not a good way to go. So um, instead of using comparing it to images, it turns the image into a number, and it compares that number against um, image numbers in its database. And uh, that's the premise of difference hashes. And over here in my uh, project, I have an entire uh, dictionary here with item names and their uh, difference hashes. So, um, and it performs a bitwise, uh, bitwise shift or hamming distance to see how similar uh, two images are. And that means that people with different contrast settings, different gamma settings, whatever, will still have their images recognized. And then it will go ahead and segment, segment uh, the bottom right of an image to find the quantity. And people with different games will have different font settings. So it actually has to go through a neural net. Currently I'm using PyTesseract, which is uh, Google's uh, uh, open source Tesseract OCR engine, the Python wrapper for it. And it will go ahead and take that image, pre-process it a bit, um, shove it in the magic hole, and then a magic number comes out. And then it will go ahead and lay out everything into the spreadsheet. Uh, and that's that's the that's the basic gist of it. But you know what? I didn't want to stop there because um, I was thinking, who wants to sit there and type things like like Hey, bot, give me a spreadsheet. Nobody ever wants to do that, right? So I um, wanted to add a way for this bot to have voice commands which sent me down another rabbit hole entirely. So here's my speech to text branch on the bot right now. I get the cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna type here, the bot will join and I'm going to speak very kind words about Mr. S profusely. And um, Mr. S is great. Matthew, do you have anything to say about Mr. S? Matthew. M Matthew, 
Mr. Uh, Selesky is the best person in the whole world. Yeah, so see, the bot actually has cognition, and it will uh, respond accordingly. <laughs> so, um... It, it, what it, happened it, to that command with my name in it? How did you remove it just for this? Uh, no, 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 nobody cares about the, the Matthew command. But, um... But it, it has keywords, and uh, it'll go ahead and trigger um, a, a command based on what you're saying with your voice. That was a demo one. I'm planning on integrating it more in the future. So currently, I am running this bot on my test server here with um, like me and like one other person using it. After it's polished and done so, I'm going to go ahead and be moving it to my guild server where it'll have about 100 people um testing it and then i'm going to go ahead and move it finally to the sailing server where it will have a potential usage of 10,000 people and that will be its final resting place for itself and my computer's processing resources anyway um hope you're having a great quarantine that's my final project goodbye